So have we kind of forgot about how good their farm system is and what kind of impact that may have come October? Yes, a little bit, KB. And certainly we've talked a lot on this desk in the week about what maybe the Dodgers should have done and did not do with the Vasquez trade. But let's give them some love here because they've had some great returns already from their farm system, including their catcher right now, Will Smith. He's been he is now the, exactly now their everyday catcher. A grand slam last night. I actually I, I touched base today with his coaches at Louisville when he played in college baseball. There, Dan McConnell and Eric Snyder, talking about what a composed young man he was. Will Smith would be reading books on the bus trips. He's a very serious, studious guy, and I thought his head coach Dan McConnell had a great word about him. Just being very. Hardworking, not entitled at all, just a great work ethic. He's been tremendous. And, of course, May, he was the guy the Pirates wanted for Felipe Vasquez. The Dodgers said no, and they believe, Nick, what you're seeing tonight. He could either be an impact in the rotation if Ryu's injury goes on or at least a dynamite, dynamic Absolutely. arm out of the pen. No doubt about that. I mean, he looked good out there tonight. I mean, obviously, you're nervous for your, your sure. first start ever in the show. I'm sure his feet haven't hit the ground yet. But for what the Dodgers believe in him and not giving him up for a piece that they could really use in the back end of that bullpen says a lot about what they think about him. We're going to be nitpicky for a second because the Dodgers are great. Uh, the best team in the National League. I mean, they're going to have a great chance to go back to the World Series again. But that's what we yep. do when they're looking for their first one since 88. So let me throw this your way. They've got a 16-game lead in the division. <laughs> yeah. They have not played a meeting full game since like April 7th right. because they've been so dominant. Is that going to hurt them? And they're not going to play another one until October. Is that going to hurt them at all, the fact that they are just, they haven't even been challenged until the postseason? I don't think so. I think the Dodgers are on a mission, right? <laughs> this is mission win World Series. I don't think it matters where they end up the season, whether they win the division by 10 games or whether they win the division by 20 games. This team knows exactly what it takes to, well, they haven't quite figured out exactly what right, it takes to right, win just right, yet. Right. They, they're close. They're close. But that's exactly what they're doing, right? This team knows exactly what that feels like in those pressure situations, and they're trying to do everything that, that everyone else is, right? Try and gain that home field advantage. Give yourself that opportunity. But I think tonight, May on the mound doing his thing, right, giving them some quality innings because he's going to have to be a big part come postseason time. Well, well, Nick, for me, you look at the standings, and, and KB is exactly right about how big the, the gap is right now in the NL West, and we're, we're kind of lulled into thinking, that the Dodgers are just that much better than everybody else. But since the 1st of June, the Braves have a better record than the Dodgers, and the Nationals do too. The gap between the Dodgers and everybody else in the National League is much smaller than you think it is. And, even, and you lived this even in 2009. You think about it 10 yep. years ago, Nick. That first round series against the Twins. There yep. were some nervous moments there. Of course. Some moments where if the Twins had closed out game one, it's a very different series. Yep. And you saw last year's division series, Dodgers Braves. They weren't that nervous, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, well, I mean, what's the real? Well, but so the thing, though, is I, I believe, KB, that you, you think about the way that series went last year. Dodgers Braves. It was close. The Braves nearly forced the fifth game. Of course. And the Dodgers are now entering the playoffs with a little bit of a flaw in the back of the bullpen and the expectations of the world on them. I'm a little bit nervous, especially with the Braves, the momentum in the second half. I think the and Braves... The, it, by the way... And picking up all those relievers, too. Yes! The I like the Braves right later, now. Just before we go to the next uh, highlight, just watch in May, for some reason, Bronson Royal just popped into my head. There you go. Oh, there you go. I'm not saying the stuff, but just the tall, lanky delivery. Yes. Yes. Right? It could be anything.